So he's the one who's made it possible for us to have this day today because he organized the speaker. You know, he, he, know, he knows that we're doing church and he supports us in many ways. And so he just said to me, uh, there's this, he calls you a young man. <laughs> See, there's this young man who's, who I like listening to and he's writing books and he said, I want you to listen to him. And he showed me the books and he says he wants him uh, to come. Uh, then I said, no, no, it's fine. He, he was offered him for, for me, so they should be joining us. And so I, I jumped at the offer quickly before Rotin uh, uh, jumped at the offer. Then I said, no, no, he must come here. And so he's organized it. Now he's here. But I'm going to ask him to introduce him. But I also want to say, you know, maybe it's premature, but we'll say it now. We'll say it again later on. Uh, that he is, you know, he's been supporting us as a family. We are big friends as a, you know, brother. We are brothers now, you know. Uh, but also, you see, uh, if you are sitting here, we can see who's here. Because there are cameras that are telling us who's here. Now, <laughs> uh, we are watching you. And it is because of his generous offer. And we just want to thank him for that. <laughs> yeah. So I'm sure if you can see the camera is there. There's a one camera there. That, uh, there's another one there. So please be careful what you do. <laughs> Somebody is watching you. So I'm going to ask uh, uh, Winky, uh, Makasi, Winky Makasi, uh, Udi Doko Brainstein, and just as I said, he was married to my sister-in-law, Ospinki, and he surprised me. I didn't know that he was going to come, you know, and, but here he is, we were chatting. I sent him a program and everything today, but then I, I was surprised to see him coming in. So I'm going to ask you, for, for Winky, just to come and introduce our speaker today. And then after that, for Cabello, you'll, you'll just come over. Amen. <laughs> it's not often that you take pictures together, you know. <laughs> yeah, that we should have a picture together. <laughs> yeah, it's important behind, you know. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Ray, thank you so much. San Monan. As introduced before, my name is Winky, and my surname is Makasi. My wife is Pinky. Now, the nice thing about it, my children are not Tinkies. <laughs> that is the consolation to this confusion. But anyway, I was invited to be here. I didn't come by chance. I think the fact that uh, Mfumbezi told me about you guys everything that he told me about the young people in this church. And every day, myself and my wife, we pray for you guys because you are the future. And today, having met Ukabelo and having listened to him, having read his book, I said to myself, this is the input I can make to the youth of this church to allow him to come and talk to you guys. About what? I don't know. But I hope he's a young man like you guys. You know, we, 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 we're quite old. We are, I'm on, what do you call from? Level six. You know, level six, like when you are 60, over 60 years old. You know, there's not, not many of us are there. All right. So I'm at level six. And I'm going towards level seven. So in order for us to make sure that we equip you guys for the future, we need to expose you to people, more or less your age group, because young people don't normally listen to people like us. They listen to other people. Either your children listen to other parents next door. They never listen to their parents. We know that, and we respect that. And I respect the fact that you guys will probably relate better to Kabel than you relate to me. And I think I would like to introduce him. I met him through a friend, a friend that owns a company called Rain. Those that know the Wi-Fi, you know, you didn't think probably a person, a person like that would know him, but we do, right? And, 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 and also, he works closely with Cabello. His name is uh, Ani Muholi. That is the gentleman. He owns part of Rain. And with uh, Patrice Mutsib and all these guys, so there are many, and he's one of the owners. And Pumlani called his family together, invite his family, his cars, the nephews and would sit around and get Kabel to speak to them because we believe that we have to pass the baton 
we've got to hand over to you guys. It sounds impossible, but we do it either with deeds, we do it by talking, we do it in a way that we behave ourselves. So when Mercy talks about you, I always want to be part of it. But from a distance, I do my own thing. But this day, I've put aside to be with you guys, and I thank you for that. Gabriel, you want to come over, please? Dumela. Dumela. Abshin. Nda. Barmin. I mean, I don't need support. I'll take our seats. Kalibito uh, Kekabelo, as they take their seats. Thank you for. We're going to have a conversation, so I'm going to take a seat. Uh, I, I don't need a pulpit. Don't because I'll have to pull myself out of the pit first before I get to it. But I need a favor. Are we going to open? Because I. Leshap, do you know what today is? Probably uniform, but the, 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 <laughs> the bare meaning to what? wearing uniform. Do we all know why? Nothing hectic. We need us to work together. Everybody that is can they please occupy this first? If you're not, okay. Yet, if you're 30 and above, except for you, my elders. Anybody that is 30 and above here? So show sure you are uh, under 30. <laughs> 30 and above? Okay. Shift the light. I but it's fine. And then. Limo. Yeah. 20 to 25. Twenty twenty five. Twenty twenty five. Quick, guys. Let's not waste time. Twenty to twenty five. Fifteen to twenty. These two. Fifteen to twenty. Fifteen to twenty. Fifteen to twenty. One, two, three rows. Fifteen to twenty. One, two, three. Fifteen to twenty. Ah, uh, when I'm fit. Twenty to twenty-five keba. Sure. 15 to 20, I guess. So that's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 15 to 20. It's not. It's not full yet. 14 and below. 14 and below the side. You can pull that chair while I'm here. Pull that chair. Thank you. 14 and below this side. What's happening there? Sorry? Yeah, you can set it and move. I, I think I just need the mic, nothing more. Okay, quiet. Thank you very much. Si silence. 14 and below this side, I got that's 30 plus. Yeah, you're, you, you'll soon not be called youth, some of you. Um, 25 to, so the reason why I did that. Um, go, go pass some silence quickly. Guys, leave that, it will, it will work. I'll let you know if it's not. 
I'll use my voice if it's not working. Leave it alone. It will be fine. I also don't want to be too loud. Um, okay, thank you. Now, I come from a small village called, everything I do, I time it so that I don't go overboard. Ne? So I'm expecting to be done in one hour, 15 minutes. We are engaging. I'm not just talking to you. That's why I also want to have an idea of who I am talking to. Because sometimes you're saying things to people and you realize that they don't even to hear half of what you're saying because you say things that should have been said because Sunday is cool and you're saying it to people that are adults. Or you're saying things that should have been said to adults and you're saying them to people that are because Sunday is cool. So this division gives me a better idea of who I am talking to. Does it make sense? Gyalabo. So my name is Kabelo. My m Christian name is John. And please don't use that name. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> you, know, you know what's very interesting now that we are at church? John had a very difficult task. You know that? He had a very, very difficult task. From, from, wha from when he was still in Elizabeth's tummy, he had a very difficult task. He even leaped at some point, but we are not here for that story. I'm just saying that that name carries so much that about it, and he will pray over me so that I can get used to using my Christian name. It just carries a lot for me. Those that are familiar with Haman's Kral, um, Pankop is about 40, 41 kilometers from Haman's Kral. When you're heading towards the north, Polokwani, um, Mokopani, Venda, those that use the N1. After the carousel toll gate, there's an off ramp here, Maubani. The next one says Pina Sarefir. Somewhere there, I, we take off and then we get home. I'm 32 years by age. If it matters, I don't know why I'm saying it. Um, I'm here with my wife, Leseho Chabalala. <laughs> I, 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 she's one of the few people with a hair that has color, so you can distinct her. <laughs> Um, and the other interesting thing is, uh, uh, if you could have seen me before I got married, yo, you would probably not even recognize me. So I thank God for her, because I think wives have a way of making us better. And, and I, I thank God for her. I, um, yeah, and I feel like I've been married for long, not because the marriage is, is boring, but because of the many beautiful things that I've seen since we tied the knot in 2021 to date. Uh, and I got um, I met her. <laughs> it's important that I mention that. I met her um, on the 5th of September in 2019. And then, and then we started dating because I'm scared of girls. So it took long just to ask her out. So September, October, November, December, January, February, February, after five months, I asked her to be my girlfriend. That was 2020, just before COVID. I almost went into COVID without a partner. Anyway, <laughs> sharp. We then, we then started dating February the 7th in 2020. And then the following year, 2021, in April, I think 24, 25, because I lost the car, I lost parking ticket and all that. Then, Kohai Gabaroma. You know, the beautiful thing about getting married is that you have a right to call your rakadi, your uncles, you gather them under the tree. That's exactly what I did. And three there by my aunt's house. And then I gathered them. And I wasn't saying anything. I was like, I have to hear because I need to say something. You know, black parents, we miss it. <laughs> I didn't call you here because anyone. And the interesting thing is, I didn't have a child at that point. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, sharp. I get to the other important things. Even I'm, I'm, I, we, I was like, Hatteridgeville said, yeah. And it's a bit far from home, about 107 kilometers back, 200, gates, 167 rent, it's next one, 23. Imagine just going to see your partner. It costs you, yo, yeah. Anyway, at the time, I was, I was only tiling. Uh, you know tiling, floor tiling and wall tiling. Those were the, the skills that I 
and I learned that from an old man who is 78. I like those people in the 60s. That's why when I meet somebody that is oh, in level 6 and above, I get excited because you learn so much from them and they empower you. So if you, if you were to ask if I have friends, I actually don't have them. But here's what I want to, that's one of my favorite verses. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence that which you do not see. When I saw it, when I walked in here, I was like, I'm actually at the right place. That's my most favorite verse. Most, when I say most favorite, now faith is the, you know substance is something you can hold on to. And the evidence, caught without evidence. Now, that's what faith is. You, you, and you don't even have to be a church person to understand the power of faith. But faith is a representation of something you can touch. It's evidence of what you can't see. Yo, guys, and yeah, fast forward, we got married and then she's my wife and I'm a better person. But today, <laughs> today I wanted to... I wanted to talk to, I want us to talk about the challenges of growing up, one, in poverty, number two, growing up without a father. Um, I grew up with my father, Ali Absence. But often out of those challenges, we like dwelling on the absence rather than taking lessons from it and then imparting yourself to be better. Kumbule kaya. Papaka, ye, and chia. And often they, they find themselves in spaces where they're not doing anything about the situation. And I think it's wrong for us to dwell in the place alone. Yes, Papa got when I was four. And the last time I checked, ne? I tell all my stories. The reason why I'm not going to say a lot of things, just touch on important things, is that most of that story is in there. And, but there are things that are probably not in there that we need to talk about today. So from 4 until 10, I'm aware that my father is not around. My mom is not working. And it's a challenge because we have dreams. And the one thing about dreams, but daily to have them. And I had those even at that particular point. And the first task that you and I have to go through today, the, everything is a process, right? And you need to understand the importance of a process. You need to find purpose in pain and in the process. So, I then realized that I'm faced with a big challenge. At school, they make us write those essays about a perfect holiday in Bela Bela, those that have been there, or Maldus Drift, or somewhere with your family. But I have a problem. Now you, you're starting to die because the teacher didn't care whether your, your father is there or not. And in the South African context, almost 63% of black fathers are absent. Meaning, in their lives, you probably have met him, but he doesn't play a role. Just by a show of hand, this side of the world is your father. Those that grew up without their fathers. Guys, is a nice place. This is the first time in three years where I sit in a group where. Guys, this is. He's serious. Every time I'm sitting with young people, young adults, that's the first thing we do, we cry because of the pain. The pain of not having resources. You have dreams, you want to go study. The point that I want us to focus on. And I want you to help all of us in here to find a way around what are the common challenges that we face when we are young, when we are their age, somewhere between zero and 14. What were some of the, the challenges that you faced? I'll start. Now my main challenge was that I never, I never had the opportunity to have the toys that I wanted. 
I had a cousin of mine I talk about in the second book. He had a ball, a soccer ball. You know, but always the person who has what the group needs doesn't know how to play. He was that young man who had a soccer ball, three of them at some point. Ne? And when he doesn't feel like playing, there's no game. And every time I would go to bed, I would cry. Why us? Why can't I have my own soccer ball? I love football. I want to play. It was that. Lack of resources was one main challenge. Why couldn't I be FM? That was my challenge. And I started asking questions, I think around eight, nine, ten, for no more. That's when I was starting to ask my, myself those questions. So now, as adults, I want you to tell me some of the think about them somehow they 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 haunt you but you are over them because you are here to it's a good thing anything that you can think of kubutaka a soccer ball my cousin when when he was not in the mood hard lal or you know that day where and he gives us the ball and he says no today i don't want to play you're like yes because what jesus and and that's the honest truth he can't he, he doesn't know whether he uses the left or the right foot so that day where he just wants to watch and be the referee we all celebrate because every time we do the five side five aside you know you are adding him not because he's the greatest player but because somebody had a yes uh, I, I know it's a new face here. If it's okay, peace, ne? You do let them home, Nandi. So, okay, sister, Bagata, I will invent a character. Yeah, so I think uh, one of those challenges, Arahola, is pure pressure, whereby you have friends, like you said it, they have it all, and you, you feel like, what's wrong with me? My friends buy a tripping and your mother can pay for the trip due to not working or she's working, but she can afford it. So those kind of things, they are damaged for men. By all means, so I never run over scar face and to the reporting the face. Renaling, resnaying, dark or blue, but let's do our best to please our children. Amen. I'm cracking, so I'm gonna use amen a lot. Anyone? Anyone? Anything you grew up with? And yes, you can start. Um, good morning, everyone. Uh, Lisa Lakakima Pule. Um, I was invited by. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay, one of my the challenges that I had was really about six mom cuckoo. Um, there was me, my mom, my two cousins, and my aunt and my uncle. So you can imagine uh how how is it like? Uh, one and a half uh, room yam kuku. Um, it was bad, and the way we were like a demo and I know some of us Balang Kuriki youth we are experiencing that even today, and that is so sad. But what I consoled myself with was my mom was trying her best. Kore hagia skolong I look good, get chapa. You know, that's, that's so important as an individual. Look representative as a young woman uh, or as a young girl or a youth. Um, so she, she made sure because I gave her this, this other thing, every experience. Now, she didn't want to um, us to get embarrassed. Yeah, so, and another thing, Eki Konsoli Lengayone, when we used to play as young um, girls and boys, because and whatnot, and then when you come home, the mind has, has something, it's some, somewhere else. 
because you experience that you experience what you experience and then how you are you get so I think what what we have lost as children today by 2000 and whatnot they are not playing anymore so they don't get that uh, childhood um, mentality yes <laughs> oh thank you so much anyway. oh, oh yeah I, I I time myself, I time you, because everything has to be within now. Any other story? 2025. I'm coming back. Um, two minutes, please. <laughs> yeah. I, Nasaka story is different. I had a challenge. Kalibito. Libito like a kitchen So, go primary school. People like now I've been up in a chili baba so so I was young and I did not understand that name so I make sure her when I went to high school I will call the other name I prefer to call myself Teres so Mamaka when uh, she went to school I learned that report I was a hurry get all that report yeah chili zimukwebo the teacher was surprised chili zimukwebo who's that. Oh, yeah, she's not used to Teresa. Why? Because she was a mother. 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 And I was crying. Every time during lunchtime in primary school, many, many children they would come. They would say, she was a mother. She was a mother. And then she explained to her how she was a mother. Means grace. She was a mother. She was a mother. You see, and 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 that is but few stories still on what we experience. You see, I'm tall, ne? There was a point where I wanted, I started praying for the and it sounds funny, right? And I'll tell you, this one, we were in class, and ras are like normal kids in school, right? Our teacher, our maths teacher, comes in and says, "Ulo motel leso unoto ras," and then now, and. And I was, I was ahead, right? Because what I couldn't understand was, what does my height my age? Why do I have to behave like an adult only because I'm taller? So I did pray for being sure. And it sounds stupid, but I prayed for Gibbon Mukutuan. And today I'm tall, dark, and uh, handy. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, guys, the last age for me ki handy ki bere ki samatso ki bile ka thaila so tall dark and he- very handy i i use my hands and i work that was that was the first part of our discussion for us to reflect on kas khoa ba di bitse di childhood traumas they exist ke tlo tla kolona i will never forget you they exist those childhood traumas are a very very big part of our lives but they are part of a process we, we need to get through them in order for us to achieve bigger things. The second part, I'm so excited about that. Um, I don't like keeping people long, but let's not be shy. Let's empower each other. Part two, it's about, you know, we were talking about starting the process as kids, but now I want us to move into where we are now aware of our friends. Let's let friendship break, break up. Yo, guys, the other day, I, do you remember my status about um, some songs that we were played, R. Kelly and whatnot? So the other day, and then I'm listening to um, some songs on YouTube, and then I'm like, hey, Eric, you move like Apple Music. You know, people when they hear Apple Music, but I'm not looking to see us. And then I go there, then there's a song by Barakimang, uh, Bow Wow. Now I said, nearly a little bow wow at the time. So this song plays, and it, it takes me back to grade nine. Um, grade nine, I think it was 2014, 15. I matriculated in 2000, 2005, or four, five, somewhere there. And then I realized, oh, those friends that I had then, guys, and, and it hurts. Um, I think friendship breakups are things we don't talk about, but they are such a big part of our lives. But at that point, this is where 2005 leading to 2008. Um, this one time, I sit with my grandmother. Kere mo ena kere. Kukwan. Aries mo na mi kere. You know, one day I'm going to sit with Barack Obama. 
you are a child. I said to you, Elia, you don't pay to dream. And then it was after he was uh, uh, um, uh, barking and inaugurated as the president of America, the first black president. And I'm excited. I'm telling my grandmother, 2008, right? You are crazy. And, but, but then she continues to say, Mara, maybe utam uta sangana na yena. Kuru queen antiv. Yuko tamala apan kop. And now, we, and the funny thing is, sir, kamoro ho wale rotu. I'm not sure if you know it. Um, and that's what we're gonna have for supper later on, guys. I find out for my wife and her family. Abaji moro ho without nama. Not for me, moro ho was the nama. And then I'm like, <laughs> so every time they we bring them moro ho ne. I kid you not. Quite reveal they eat moro ho and then there's a piece of chicken. And then I'm thinking, but the whole point of reja moro is because there's no nama. For Luna. Yo, guys, poverty is not nice. Because you see what it has done to me. Now I need to unlearn. Now when I'm with her, I need to... It's like a, a, a spinach, you know? Obviously, spinach is not going to be able to do it. The guys, you know that one? A lot of you don't like it. I'm like, guys, uh, how do you get it? Maybe I'm going to a replacement of meat. How, how do you... Yo, that's again poverty. But back to the story. Then I tell my grandmother, Hori, and even the Mutipes, I'm going to meet them. 2008, I mean metric. Uh, my grandmother entertains me. She always entertains me. And, and that's why my second book is called A Woman. It's actually nicer than the first one. Okay, I'm kidding. But uh, I'll tell you why I say that. And then I, and I'm going to give someone this book. Please listen to me. I'm going to reflect. I'm, I'm going to reflect on something I've already said, or I'm going to say, and I'm going to give that person my second book. It's really, really nice. I promise you, it's better than the one that you're getting. Um, <coughs> and then she entertains me. She listens to me. But I'm at a point where I'm now looking forward to the future, not more concerned about the absence of my dad. Guys, also we need to preserve our animals, right? Because that's what happens. How, and, and I have a question. Is it possible for your purpose in life can be tied to someone that left? Then why do we keep going back to mutwas nanta baliri nara nana ukarbo polo bar nabo kasiyo kopelo? Kuru kuru make me understand. Now healed, guys. Yo, Papa ga I kishapka in. May his soul rest in peace. He passed on in 2017, but we'll get to that as the last part. So we're doing three parts. But I want you to share stories of where you started moving from the pain into realizing your purpose. The very same purpose that was buried in that pain, because now. I start at participating in athletics. But there was pain in that too, because sometimes they would call me an age cheat. So the hard thing, I prayed about it for until I, I, that's when I stopped praying about it. But for the longest time I was praying, well, can I just be shorter? Because every time I had to walk into a soccer field, they questioned, Ki age high. There was a final in grade 10, that I was running for the regions, yeah, 100 meters, where they stopped the race, they took two cars, they went to the clinic in Bangkok. We were about 20 kilometers from where, uh, from my home uh, village, right? So that they can confirm that the birth certificate and the cat clinic correspond. You know, you know when you, I, 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 you obashiela luhurbao accuser of. And, and, and you are thinking, but God, I didn't choose my height. But I want you to reflect on those ages where you started realizing that the poverty is actually the injection over better in purpose. Because you know, and every time I would be number one in class or be in the top five or win something, I realized that the purpose was, was so much buried into that poverty, into that lack. I later realized that the absence of my father was for a bigger purpose in my life. That's part three. Yeah, or, oh, that man was amazing so that I can be better. It's weird. And, oh, he's actually going to cause more problems. But I started accepting that my father is not there. I started focusing on my life and dreaming. 
these dreams that I was telling my grandmother about. And my grandmother, guys, she listened to all my stories. I get all of them. I really mean all of them. And she would affirm me. She would say, okay, wapenga, but they will happen, you know. Um, sounds crazy. Farfetch, Obama, Mary, Kapan, Kop. When I mean, I own an passport. And, 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 and it makes sense. But it was there. But I want you to share some of those parts where you started dreaming and forgetting your situation. You started dreaming and not being worried more about where you were. In the biblical context, you started becoming the Joseph in your life. You started becoming the Esther in your life. You know, Esther didn't come from royalty, but she became, you know the order, Yahor, how do you become a, a, a wife to the king? You must be of royalty. But somehow, when Esther was presented with that opportunity, she took it. I know Tapa Gadu is about Tapa Gadu. Happen Nagong was Suri to go over Guru Velara so called. And, and that is part of the problem. Guys, that story is in the Bible. I, I'm not lying. Esther, Iri, they went, Bamutapi Sakat and Nabatapa Gadu. What, what, Coco, butter, what, what, soaked and and Narola Tapa Gamimbata. We didn't. I, my first time encounter with a shower, I was 20. 19 or 20 years. Go high, we use pit toilet, the race butter. Guys, what's surprising about that? I we I taro to eke tlang ka yona mo heketsa mo tshepiso. I'm like yo you guys in the tabulu here. Go high ke one lane of ta. Rest it's not there. But I want you say that and 2 minutes max. Think of that story. That story that you started changing. Where was that turn around where you like okay fine. Yes, my mom and dad are here. Yes, we don't have the soccer ball. Yes, we don't ha- we don't eat Seven colors, several, seven. I get little naive. I'm one bar against seven, one bar against several. I've been in school with Tata Bariki. Yeah, but that's not my focus. My focus is when did you start having a turnaround? When did you start saying, "Fine, this is our situation at home, but I'm not going to dwell on it. I'm now going to use this to push me." You know, chocolate and every push or whatever get harder. When did you start having that moment where you like? This is not going to define me. Where you were like David. Like, you know, guys, just for you to, because I think the biggest problem is that you want the Holy Spirit to tell you. No. Just read it for, imagine, I often re- re- look at that story. David, and then, oh, yeah, you're going to be king. I guess. And you know what's interesting about him? Ah, David was chilled. He's like, oh, okay, sharp. He went back. I know he said in Guli, the Buddhist are half. At 17, no, go on Instagram. Hey, guys, I'm the next king. Yo, but <laughs> David was David was chilled. Little one, the definition of chilled. Biblically, he just went back to continue. I promise you, I'm not making this up. Joseph on the other side, Lamit, Ola, who became governor, this is not even a reality. That's what for the first thing. This is a bit That's why I'm going to But the point is that when did you start realizing the dreams? Whether they look far fetch like yeah, kaya kopanalo, and then kaya kopanlo bam. Anyway, I'll tell you later. But the 2008 dream became a reality in 2018. The mutipe one leon, the 2008 dream came into reality in 2018. But that's part three. Niki nyogo buta felori. When you speak these things, um, whether you are jumela or how jumeli mumu jumu, I want you to know that when you speak, the universe listens. Eh? University at Hakanta. So that's what who I don't want you to dwell in pity. That was me. Copan Gopogos Nans going to repeat toilet, no shower. Okay, got you everything. But all those things that were not there, they didn't stop me from dreaming because every time I sit with young people, I remind them there's one thing you don't pay for it's for dreaming. You don't pay to dream, you don't pay to have bigger dreams. You keep dreaming. But share some of your stories. When did you stop blaming your circumstances or your situation go high and start thinking forward, start dreaming about your future? Anyone? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, 
Um, Timelang, my name is Gia. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, Timelang, my name is Gia. Gia, we tell So, okay, I'm going to be short. I was bullied and I had like a low self-esteem. I thought that I was not beautiful and I was very short. I started playing basketball. Very short. And shame the kitty go ready go more. And then I started singing where God is senior while I was still young. But my dream now, because I was bullied, um, starting to be a teacher next year is my last year. And then <laughs> um, I want to be a lecturer, professor. I'm still going to continue. And then I want to build a school, a proper school, Satana Nisa or Prague Free. And then, but my difference, Kukure, I want to take those kids ba kubona ba sokola, cause Lena, I grew up go hire sokola. Like you, you were better, you were eating papa ka mo roho, na nereja papa ka anyanyis. So I want to build a school for those kids, a proper school, but not long like a better education. Uh, d d d d everything about it, so long it over a proper and a proper school for those kids. No, a proper school for those kids but nang next go born. Thank you. Wa 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 bona hore moroho ka bo hobe le bo hobe ka e ye dirang. You 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 don't dwell mo bo hobe le e ye le bo hobe ka moroho. It your purpose is it's bigger. I'm coming to you. It's it's huge. I get to get hello se be You you need to Guys, substance of things hoped for. Udi tuaro sa di tuara. Basically, kore faith ira o zana ko koto ra o guys. Na ikin na mula tani kinali evidence. Bara ikayo no no my evidence is my faith. That's that's pretty much what it says. You need to you need to believe it even though you cause the other thing you kore. You didn't even choose to be born. I think every time he get and and I've done so many things. La wala oizu wake ra dam seria kere klo buteng another thing ne. If Mutuna tidy were nine and Gilly Caliban tidy, I will wake up one day and I'll go like, baby, Adam, get in time. Now go Merocom Banta be seat. What do you mean, Gere? I kiss an age, you know, and you know, Bernalumana, no, so you're thinking, I don't put a car, Una Norwana Melo Taga. Ah, my wife Muna had like a speech, say, Ola Bidi, hm, Banta be seat. Okay, your hair lie, and I want a happy husband. Just like that. We do half a tour of you. You know what I do? Get hyper resignation, right? Right there on this, on always. It can't be my phone. We do, guys. You know this thing, you're all busy. And then that's what she would say. And I appreciate that because she still speaks to the very same faith that I live by. Hore, bibili riska wara kabushi. Oizu na le vese mo ere. And I like the fact that kikamu kere kenga jogo. Don't lash alaji vestes kuzi kidi ting ere by worrying. In Matthew, can you add a day? Forget it, in China. Can you add a day in your life by worrying about tomorrow now? How many times do you worry about tomorrow? Guys, just dream. Just dr tomorrow, you didn't even choose to be born, let alone how, where, when. So why are you going to stress about tomorrow? So I think what Jesus was just saying, all these things are covered. So when she says resign, I resign. Uh, resign, I think, Harado, since I met her, kiss Napalan. Why is he here to kiss Napalan? You know how life in a normal setup, so it's about her offer, with her, as, as evidence. But faith says, Haritur, what's on the other side? But we trust that God will provide. And she's been providing, eh? he's been there. Eh? Amen. And I give you the story, but can I look to work? Hey, anyway, story for another day. But later, young couples, what, what, I'll come back. Uh, <laughs> I want another story, yes. We're going to leave 10 minutes of this second part, the next part. We are, we are, we are four, almost 15 minutes for to conclude. We're going to conclude the pillar, so we're going to have two minutes. Yeah, okay. Uh, Gonji, the question said, I had the question, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So when did we realize who you 
like when did you start like feeling pity for yourself? I think for me it was when like I realized the pity that we like the lifestyle that we used to live go no, we're not getting anywhere. So go we used to uh sell go station and go on a lady station. We grew up uh my grandmother and my grandfather uh, that was the legacy they built for us who see sitting in some of like in the cost stationing. So I saw you know this life we come back on to lady, we don't do homeworks, we don't wash our school uniforms, go school long, so I saw her man, this thing is not like there's no it's there's no progress. So I was always like inquisitive of other people who why are those people having cars? Why are they going to school? Why are they living such a nice life? So I think for now that is when I realized you know there's something wrong that's going on. So, and then that when that is when I started asking questions, getting more information. Which, you know, when you want to be something, you need to go to school. There's a place called university. You become so like I don't know if it's being brainwashed or just because we were living in our old world, not having like friends. It was just us going there, coming back to school. It was just like that pattern. Yeah. So I think asking more questions and being worried about your surrounding career. There's a lot going on outside, but how do you get there? So I think asking questions for me really helped me a lot, yeah. Dumela, uh, my brother, I learned I think we have a lot in common. Or, you know, I also work with my hands, but now I'm not handy, I'm handsome. Uh, okay. <laughs> Back to my story. Handsome, I'm not, I, I'm not referring to my looks. Ne? I'm handsome. I use my hands a lot. Yeah. So, ba back to the story. Uh, now I, I, I grew up with both my parents, but I was raised by my grand grandparents. Ne? So, from primary school, I'm sure till grade, grade five, grade six, I had a very low self esteem. Because every time goes girl in the bank, where the man bizarre, can I link with him? My talk has quizzed the man bizarre, panya panya, like those things. So, Lena, Lena, can't say I got so now, fortunately. So, like, I, I had a very low self-esteem. Like, to an, to an, to an extent, I wanted to get some people, but I didn't do well go on my on my studies. Like, I feel like I failed throughout the year, but December I, I passed. Yeah, and then till till to an extent, my grandmother set me down. Ne? One day I checked the book. She never did that before. One day, she did grade six. I she, she was going through my books. The book was they were a mess. And I didn't like it. Like, you shouldn't have it. You shouldn't kill inside the bag. So I went to my father. I said, what's happening here? So I said, I'm not interested in going to school because of this and this and that. And then, you know, that night changed my life for good. Because my father you know what, my son, I work as a you know, 20. Well, when I was 20 young, it was a more and never no remote. Everywhere no mass. Because it wants to feel better about itself. She was, she was basically saying, a baboon will come to you as a person and say, you look ugly. Because a baboon wants to look to, to feel better about itself. So that changed my life for good till today. And from that day on, I started participating in, like, I mean, extramural activities was go long. I, I got our awards, like the choral, the dramas, everything. So ever since that day, like my confidence, like Kishab. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know what's interesting, ne? Boko kwara na ke mapar. Ko pitoriya ko ke thangu teng. Bara boko kwara na ke mapar. Ko rile papa ole maho baliteng. Wow, uto uriling. The wisdom. But how about you go level six, level seven, guys? Just the you, 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 you leave the space much better. Your values they change. Kila ba hala koko mudi mama bless. Um, and someone come around kwa guys. Happy le palaga thirty five. But how about how abasali youth is kale? Ha. And elin nega tu mail. Um, someone can tell her. 15, 14. Uh, that's, that's also okay. Um, yeah, I want to be brass. I'm going to be a little bit. I'm going to be a little bit. 
<laughs> oh, hello everyone. Eh naka lina ke na phenyo mokhosi. Um le nna ke khotse both parents ba se yo mo buthelo mwaka. Um but the saddest thing go gore eh ba ne ba bereka like in the west part ba ne ba bereka mine. So ke khotse jeng khonwa ka le nna. So growing up uh, it was difficult. So le nna eh it took some time go accept a gore batsadi ba ka ga ba yo mo buthelo mwaka of which it led me to hey dilo tseng tse ding ata to drugs uh, for about something like 7 years ke ke le busy ke tsuba le drugs why because ke sa ba tlo accept a gore batho ba le ga ba mo botsholo ba ka and everything because a ke khotsa le kgolwa ka ne like ka sotle ga kula bona so i started realizing my purpose last year october i think in the 6th october because now it was difficult you no know, like i'm i mean deep into drugs and then ka kopana le moruti one day eh one day moruti mo sentla ka mthlalo se tla le bakalaka a re kona o tshe ke eng ge wena so se batlang ge ke re eh no yana eh ke batla gore ke motivate basha le nna ke tsama ke ba blela gore eh this life even if batsadi ba ga ga ba mo botsholo ba ga ga everything so ka je go ya eh ka phuli thank you And not begin my line, or grand gala. And 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 the good thing, the other the, the, the great side about being raised by women, um, which comes to this book now. Um I wrote two books. And also, you know we the English as first additional language. Ne? And then you marry someone with an English as home. Every day, he gave a little. this week, bang, last week, bang, correct the color for And and I remember to remember, eh, but to be with English, but to be with the English, the home language, but to be in guys. La wait. When I or salmon, no, 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 no. The 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 no, no, no. The L is silent. The L is silent. Is salmon. Mara elite mo la mus. And. Of course, you will make those arguments, I guess. And it, so, and here's the interesting thing. Like, you know why we whole whole are we the English ka ka second la, first additional or second additional ne? Or ubi te lidi letha te di silent ko or head chance we ngwale. O skale ba la na hana bariki samon ko ngwalang S A M O N right? So about halo ha ni or na di sting tau di lidi silent and and it's taking years. Ben o ngwale so. <laughs> Yeah, so my wife weirdly English as home language. Oh, to so do what we are more. And now our first additional language can you go to a lap? But this this then takes us to the last part of our conversation around how the purpose became so big that I also wanted to tell stories. Um tell stories whereby in two thousand and eight I matriculated. And then the next thing you hi. Hey guys, our villages are not the nicest place to be in. So Kaluela, um, but for chela teri yadi aparota December. I don't know how much it was, but I got rekasilo because I I figured I want to I don't want to be more high next year. And then I took that money, went to Pretoria. I give it to go Pretoria. There was a Kiria campus. Give it to me. It's a science. Nenti kiduri. You know when you know your purpose. But you you feel hore even if I defer hanya nikitole kanche. All I wanted was not to be at home in 2009 after matric. I went in, but thoma ba kuman samu mani. I told you that my mom ha unasa berik. And then I kaloe like I go akiria campus kaira analytical chemistry nahan chemist physics I think you go level three yo it's but. I didn't want to be at home. That was the main thing. Kaluela, ka register, ka ema line yengwe ya matha ya ko nefsas. I think I got around one somewhere there. Bankata still didn't make it. But but wala ka only number two. Ba ofe kati ya kabushi. Ba ore ba re eh. We giving you this car so that ube ko pele mara hari guarantee you rotoma kawe. Yes. Laba iti bo bossa stera ba ko sosha nguve bo hamanskral. 
Baba Rega Merwa government, Banana attitude, not all of them. Um, but that was the case. Now, Cheldelegi Bala, it's like Anur and Gaya hype and go, which was about 50 rand and back. So, called a friend, Nalimo Haufi, Rayo Robala, Namola Mofat, so that we can wake up. I tried that, but Nefsas didn't cover me to cover the, to cut the sh uh, long story short. Traveling was also a problem. Then I had to stay at home for the remainder of that year because Ntoni Gida was not possible. Then I was introduced to the likes of um, Joyce Maya, Bishop T.D. Jakes, um, their books. I started reading those books. And then I, I read a lot of Christian books. Well, Max, see Maxwell. I accept all the Christian books. Kidi Kishap. Not who I did book talker. No, no. no. I, I mean, I've, I've, you know, who about last survival? I, I, I was reading for survival. I was reading so that I get out of that um, depression that was knocking on my door every day. So they reminded me of purpose. I started reading the Bible. I know, Kure, guys, number one, who was that guy ne, in the Bible? I'm pausing. Olung Kure, he was asked. Uh, he was asked, he had a group of men, he was going to war. It's in the Old Testament. And while he was going to war, um, God said, these people are too many, man. You can't take so many people to war. So ask all these soldiers that you've gathered here to go to the river. When they get to the river, ask them, and the one that get it right, there were no more than a thousand. Those are the people that you're taking to war with. And who win the There were a few. I, I, I forgot the number, but there were not a lot. Who's that guy? Yo, this guy, guess I guess. Kimang. Ah, booker number one gone. Nikrik and some of booker eh. Eh. If I deal, okay, I'll to Helling you. I didn't go New Testament. Guys, listen to the Bible. Not about the Bible, I ain't cut at all. There are four gospel books, right? Name them. Yes, thank you. And when I when I'm meeting Mark, Luke, and John. <laughs> and then the question is, there are four uh, gospel books. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, right? But out of the four guys who wrote these books, writing it to Ntatemo Holu Theophilus, and in the first chapter, why mention a whole the book of Acts. I so you need to read guys I read that book it was very interesting ne? Luke Luke gives an account he was a he was a doctor ne? He, hold but in school so like I'm going wala ngate ne o mona romara man e ngotseng ke ba ba mba jono na ngwala ya jono na why bona ne hore the way I'm wala are dien tata mo le theophilus ho itse re ne ding tsang ka marana jesu ra ya kwa ra ya kwa ra ya kwa hafetsa are ka hore never no mkitse ne school of prayer ka re go bontsho re hui writing are acts a summarizer all these things isn't that nice to know that o bala buka e le ngore le ba tho ba teng ba tsene school and then ne ba tsa ditori tsa bona serious ke nya go fa buke mo ke ke fila general baby go pela buke mo ke di verse tse ka etse ba bolelang ka the miracle ya biala the first miracle that Jesus performed. It's, it's, that's why Hugo Taba Zaloni Barry. Hey, Renata Bazaloni, Harin Vialaka. Awayak. The Kitabu. Ah, eh, Linale. Sharp. One minute. Last part as we close. Um, guys, I think I'll let you know what they have. My wife knows I cry. Yeah, I cry. I, I cry. You know? I then, the following year in 2010, when the World Cup was happening, my, my mom's sister um, finds out about.
whole year that didn't go well and says to me, Manak, Kitoko, and I tell her full story in the second book, Ho, Mrs. Kolo. And I said, what do you mean? She said, the way you fought not to be more high, I think there's a potential in you. You know how many times that our families don't care? Malumi mo na gabali di milioni, pabaleng wano potential wa ausa high ne. O mo, o ito na lo tawong. You can see that if I just invest three years in this person, yako vets, yako UCT, yako kai kai, there's something great that's gonna come out of that. There are people by lungore, banali moyo singwa mudi muso mas that they will never. They want to be the only shining ones. You know those. We grow up in such families, and then now I, I, unfortunately, I didn't come from that kind of a family. Mama Hulu says, I'll pay for your fees. I remember, I had a student account. Now, even at the bank, if I had a student account, 30,000 or 40,000, that was my first year fees. I had a student account, and I had a student branch manager on the phone. Hey, Kabel, yes, sir. Why about the manager? I had a cash call fees. Hey, man. But I took the money and I did what I was supposed to do, right? I studied journalism. Um, I complete three years. Uh, I complete my diploma. Third year, you need to do um, student, you need to do an internship, right? So luckily, I was absorbed by the department. Hey, guys, Nick Excel, from level three of physics, Nick, I the distinction. I got a little transcript. I got a little distinction. And get talk all I get talk all I share because I saw Nigel Barry was colo. But who's an out of the conflicts when Oja Mafaj? It doesn't match, you know. Baja Dina when Oja, it poverty I sharp, man, in general. We need to get out of it, right? I then complete and then started working go star and then all those things. Many opportunities here and there. But there was a bigger purpose. I've always been a storyteller. I've always wanted to excel in storytelling. And then before my wife, we get married, October, the church marriage, and then Harfeza, Haruya Cape Town. By the way. And then she leaves for Cape Town because of work. I we dropped her off, I think around five in the morning, go over Tambo. Your side of the bed, yo. It was not nice. It was, you know that song, it's an R&B song. Um, yo, the pillow. And then I took my laptop. I had outlined. You know, you know, books. Are, book is a very interesting thing. So I had outlined what I wanted to write a few years before I met her. So describe or what will be chapter one: glimpses of my father. Chapter two: death spelled as mom, M O M. Father's days were a pain, and a, now they are not a pain. Eh, thank God. Santa Hakkebeke celebrate. My grandfather, a hero. So I, I had outlined the book, and then I start writing. I keep on rural until I feel like town. I keep on rural until I'm raro olendi lo ugo hoteling sharp. I erikete tose budut started typing. You know when she got to Cape Town, I was sitting on about nine thousand to ten thousand words. Yeah, typing. Squasatos correct and sa first additional language and not that like a home language. Wrote, I wrote, I finished. Um day two had things still our valley guys maramula nil muji magin. So my first book was written in five days. Ngasali what's the story sorry? Yeah, Kabali, right has block, Neginali, missing my partner block. Kiwana fell and twin neganalo. Finish my first book and then I refined it. So one of my mentors, Brendan Siri, he's a deputy editor of the citizen. Um, and the editor of the Saturday Citizen Edition. I um, So, check out the edit. These are my album, 60,000, 80,000, 100 and something. Sharp. And then he says to me, Hey, you said you're writing a book. Yes, I am. Are, okay, fine. Then my gift to you will be me editing your book for you. I say, say what? Then, I'm like, I'm done, I'm sorted. And that's how my book got edited. Why book away is not possible? First of all, I studied journalism, taking it so serious. But secondly, my wife edited, then Brendan finished the story. And that's how I journeyed my book from 
um, telling the story from being a boy into becoming a man, from telling the stories of my dad. Papa get like a little bit Hannah's thing. I prayed for one thing, and that man didn't do it. He left when I was four. Ne? All along, I've been praying, oh God, I hope wherever he is, at least do not society. It sounds silly, but that's all I prayed for. Guys, they always go back to their kids, the first ones. Ah, oh, Lina Ladlala, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> this man, <laughs> 2017, I'm at work, Pretoria News, and then I get a call from one of my cousins. Hey, man, hey, umo kai kimo meruko WhatsApp. Hey, nafats, okay. What else should I do? Get a glass of water. Sharp, I do that, and then bam, putari comes out. He's no more. Wawa. Again, I'm like God. I'm not ngalala. Di mani kalige malala. Nidi fedi leji gelech. So I said. I hope that man the society. I'm still on that part because it's, it was so critical for me <laughs> that, you know, guys, I, I get a certificate. I, I had nothing. If I need to pop out money, it means it's from my savings. So that's, let's come back I hope that the society because it's one thing. Guys, lo and behold, that man, yeah. Sharp. Fast forward, we go from Moloka. Uh, uh, I used to do car reviews. Uh, my life is very complicated, but the book will uncomplicate whatever that is complicated or that you think didn't make sense, right? And then I was I was using a, I was reviewing a Mazda 2 at the time. So that's that car reagua. guys, that certificate So he left my mom, he got married, and then he did whatever. But and uh, you know when fathers leave you as Mwanabona from the first they know how to take care of other people's children better than their own. Uh, another mystery. So, maybe God will tell us why. Those men know how to take care of other people's children than their own. It shocks me. And, 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 and it shocks me to date. Sharp, Rakwale, Harifita, Rakhadi Uluela Nale, Limsadia Hai, the current one. He left my mom. They were not officially married. He got married to someone. He got married. Narata manyalo papaka. That one thing I know. And then eventually met this one. Olungur otokofala analiena. Right? Rakhadi unyoko mutima death certificate. So I get there and I'm thinking. Zebedi elaga rakwata. Almost 300 k's from home. Rakhadi, what's wrong? Um, mm mm. Hanya punsa chelta sir. Okay, but kimo na hai. So. That death certificate belongs. In fact, you're supposed to ask for it from her. Kira usaka kira sesi. Usaka is six years older than me. Papa will talk about it. Yeah, lo enega papa. But what do we do? Um, we'll see. Are guaro chega. That's why we made that trip. We get the at least na na tana Thank God. So kare it's compiled zaru horute B3. Yo, thank God. So little barking le kasi was sorted. At least. Rakadi are la le upgrade. Upgrade for what? For this man who wasn't there. Then we started dealing with the important things, you know, grocery, Okay, we started ordering those things, but grocery, which was probably around ten to fifteen thousand from my sister and I. Come on, now You see how so look usukulo tui. Usukulo has the amen ya hallelujah ya God. No, usukulo is the actions that you do beyond. The pain that life has thrown at you. So the muluki le daman. So I rekam koke mu kopezing. Apa tela brudi or mamang or ateli dicho. Now we had to spend money from our savings. Ki November ne rinya kwa rekaju osta. We couldn't because we had to take our savings. Rebolo ke daman. And that's exactly what we did. But because at some point in my early twenties and before I was admitted in hospital for depression, I admitted myself. I learned that. There is an expiry date to blaming the absence of your father for the things that are not going well in your life. And I'm going to repeat it. There is an expiry date to blaming the absence of your father for the things that are not going well in your life. Amen. And that's how we changed. And that's how we get to the end of the story, Sahori. I, I, I then started following my dreams. Guys, 20, 2017, he passes on. The following year, there was this thing, Yahoo Obama Africa thing that was coming. So over 150,000 young Africans were applying for the position, it's a 200, to sit down with Obama and have a conversation in Johannesburg. I, me being bored, I then see this thing. Yeah, you know, Bushu host Nabarok. I then apply, Barry, motivation, 300 words, why would you be the one? Yangwal, our page number two, 
300 words for why you are a suitable what what kiangwal what do you understand about obama kiangwal ngilo bona uri selo sa fela na se i get to number 3 now but kiangwal 500 words about something else and then kila bile and i'm thinking eh mar se dingwa di lunch i can give up now yo i continue i think it was 500 words times 7 that i had to write then i submit and then while i was in hospital cause i admitted myself after two car accidents and i survived and then i just figured we're okay fine something continuing kwa doctor udila le dilo tsa body childhood trauma yo tsela tsa ho rapella bonyane the absence of my father they even thought i had daddy issues which they didn't find while i was there one time ke ntse ke lwane i get an email congratulations you are one of 200 young south africans 53 countries plus all those seychelles and those other little thingy ne i'm like me from pankop <laughs> and then the interesting thing was my grandmother passed on in 2013 now i'm thinking o kwane ka se mile queen because now this man <laughs> that i told you i was going to meet he's 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 we getting closer now american uh, security is crazy ne kuri when the president of america comes into a country they take over and everything from your intelligence and whatever else he comes in we sit down lena in a wall where we are having conversations and then they say to us we need to go take a picture a group picture of the 200 plus him we are the first group of that um, mission yeah africa from the foundation so money gintsi moteng na ne ke sa tshori funwa ka ah na go jena le zimba you don't you don't throw away your resources so ke tshori funwa ka continuing oh yeah my right next to me you see so he stands right next to me and then kisa tshori fun so he looks at me he's like oh you want you want a selfie and it, I, i think resort nale ya mo fetsa nyane ya and then and then we take a picture then i shared that picture i think it was one of the pictures that i shared with the most shares the most comments in 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 the history of my facebook page and then rafetsa we went to another school called cosmo city where we were painting ha tlagella so with the whole group i was the one who was asked to welcome him into that school i'm like what and then these guys were taking me pictures they kept leading laugh because we were painting just so that was carpenter mazware i have those cool pictures with that man ne? and then fast forward the very same year or earlier no it was the same year i went i was invited to the mutsepe foundation no it was earlier because so is the mutsepe one then obama i was invited to the mutsepe foundation international women's day celebration i was one of the speakers so you know when something says from patrice and uh barakima uh precious mozip muloi mozip you're thinking ah some pa just wrote that anyway i then get to the venue blue train uh hotel more center so who fit like wale ke bo mme mandela bo mambeki bo kuri it's all these important people that i don't even know them so nike tlayela mahaeng ke nna mo khoneng ke tle early i'm always early ke fit like wale ke nwa tee so dr precious walks in and then she sees me and then what are kabelo you know my name you know that thing like <laughs> 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 i'm 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 shocked hurry hey, hey, Guys, this woman knows my name the whole billionaire's wife knows my name ko ka e ngona ka e o bolela sotho ah she's chill like that um ke te mama lena le kae um do you know how you got here uh your team did a research they saw me writing about i was writing for the star at the time columns and that's how that they holy met me he read a piece and then he he's phoned yo guys another a story for another day so he then Then she then asked me what no that's not how you got to my my office. Kid okay what happened? Are you know your column that is published in the star called the the K word um every Wednesday. I read that column every Wednesday. Huh? And if I'm not in the country they make sure that they leave a copy of your article for this kenyaka. That's the first thing I read when I guys no karengala. Then I'm like ko kwa ni ka simile queen fine. And then I I I I I come back and I'm in shock. You know while we while she's talking to me in this um Charlie another person from the AU walk in. And then they're saying bam mad. You know what she says? Ah ah. Go tsamba to ba ba menya. The great. What? You kidding me? O tlhela ba go tlhoka so. Just to talk to me poor with my old shoes my old shirt like you know suit ele wani ele we be elang i was wearing that suit cuz nis khale ke thomilo bereka right 
Meola left all those important people. She had a conversation with Nikki Ibala, guys. Fifth minutes. Interrupted. For 15 minutes. Security. <laughs> in South Africa after the president's one. And then later I got to sit. You know when Obama started what? Men in Africa for three concerts. Guys, that was in our presence. Yo, Linala, guys, Grace. Like, in the book, and then that Tangwata was there. A friend of mine, Utsuba Tangwata, telling him the story last week. Guys, can you? Even today, I mentor young boys. I've seen more than 500, 600 young boys. And just to touch on that story, sir, Dr. Precious, which was also another key thing, in 2018, we were donating school shoes. You know when you write people to donate school shoes? She sees one of my articles about the school shoes. Yeah? And then she's, I, I got, I've seen them several times. I've been there, I've worked with them, I've done work for them. There was a year when Cooper a thought leadership article. You know what's that? You know when in newspapers, picture you more to libido, and then there's an article, but if it's a column. And then I get a charge. I, what, what do you say to a billionaire you are in charge? I said, no, it's a donation. It's fine. I wrote 1,500 words for free. She changed one word out of the 1,500 words that I wrote. She was going to some international thing, and it's like, you write so well. She took that. She sees my article written there, and then to the primary schools. She, the office calls me. Our Felicity calls. Kabelo, Mama, how? Dr. Dr. I'm like, what? Sharp. Then I gave her a list of one of the schools. Also, guys, when you meet people that are generous and that can change your life, don't be greedy. Our big, she told me that Aaron Wanaka, the reason why I keep you here. I since 2018, there's no event that happens at, the, at that fun day when Global Citizen and um, Beyonce was here. Guys, I was sitting at Triple VIP, Triple V, V I, with the Mandela's. The, I was see, I was the only youngest one. The invitation was delivered. Hi, Kivita. Go, go convention center, bar. No, no, no. You have a private car. No, guys. Next time, I the You know when things are just too much. And, and that's grace. But what I'm saying is that she said to me, you are the first young person that is close to me, that has never asked for money from me, that has never taken advantage of the grace. That's why when I saw your article about school shoes, I said to the, you could have asked us, but you just asked everybody randomly. And then she said, she took one of the schools, 400 and something kids, they bought school shoes. Foundation. 
Hekir, it's 436 or something pairs of shoes. And that's the giving and taking. And, and that is the grace that has continued to cover me even today. That you don't, you, no matter, because we are not politicians. Guys, keep it to I, I, what I'm saying to you is that let's 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 not let's not be defined by our situations. Let's be faithful. You know, there's a verse that says, "Well done, my good and faithful." You are not faithful, her partner, how around you. You are actually faithful when your, your partner is not around. Bishop T.D. there's a difference between being faithful and being smart. If you haven't been tempted to cheat, you are smart. You can't say you are faithful unless No, you are smart. You understand that you shouldn't be doing things you're not supposed to do. But you are faithful if you are tested in what you're saying you are loyal to. So be faithful even in your in that school, go and build it. Now, we're not and we continue to change our communities. But Tepisong is not the end of you. You are the change Tepisong is waiting for. The ideas that you have are the change that Tepisong is waiting for. The next millionaire, billionaire, the next Naki Berga social capital. What is the social capital? Social capital of does that make sense? People pay to sit next to them, but when your social capital just gives you that right to sit right next to them. So th some of you will need to build your social capital. Some of you will need to build financial capital. And know the difference so that you don't confuse where you fall. Not in a sense that I get three kilo kilo I'm a social entrepreneur. I don't go in fighting for space. I, the little that I get from whatever that I do, I appreciate it. But the impact that I have with my life is great. That's why you keep at it. You grow it. You, you somebody would step back about to like today. You know, kister sa bang hebar kito balalen. Kaya tayo sa kaya tayna. You like, what am I gonna say, God? What? You like, kibo mang. Are they even gonna hear me? That's how stressed I become when I need to go see people because what you say with your mouth can build or destroy. And you need to pray about it. You need to fast about it. If anything, I want to give another book. What did I say about the absence and expiry? Word for word. What did I say about the dead, the expiry? I, I need somebody as my parting shot. I need somebody who can remember that. Anyone? Chance taker? Any chance takers? Yes. Because <laughs> I wanted to make a disclaimer. word for word, and then That's exactly what I said. Please remember, not just your father, even the height issue, there was an expiry date. Even the name issue, there's an expiry date. Even the poverty issue, there's an expiry. You need to rise above the situation so that you can fully realize your potential. Those of you that have DSTV, um, those of you that have DSTV at home, I recently joined um, Channel Africa. And I talk. So that's why I respect people's time and keep out of it. But if you have DSTV, I'll be on radio. Out and about is the name of the show tomorrow. Um, between 9 and 12, speaking to the whole of Africa. Uh, you know, all these different issues that we're experiencing as a continent. Sunday again while you are at church. For the next few weeks. But um, I'm also on radio 9 to 12. San Serberege, Sev. Mudimu ale tonolo fate, and I hope you know you're beautiful, you're brilliant, you've got great ideas, and we need to see them manifest, and you need to work very hard every day for the realization of all those dreams. <laughs> Thank you.
Bazaloni, can we stand on our feet and give him a round of applause? Can we give God a round of applause for bringing such an impactful speaker? We're giving God a round of applause. Wow. Wow. Um, thank you so much for imparting, you know, all you gave yourself to us. Um, this was really good. And thank you for how you designed the session, you know. Uh, this is what I call the art of excellence. And you have shown it e even in how you respect time. And I'm sure we are learning and we are going to implement. Amen. Can we also give his wife, his suitable helper, a hand of praise? Wow. <laughs> we are inspired and we're looking forward to having you for our couple's uh, retreat or whatever we're going to organize. Thank you very much. First Timothy 4 verse 12 says, Do not let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example. As, um, set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. And I think you've also shown us all of those things. Thank you for being a great example to all of us. We're looking forward to having you in our couple seminar, like, you say, like I said. And I don't know if Muruti wants to say something or should I close okay thank you very much <laughs> I will not repeat what she said but I just want to say also thank you very much for being here with us I think young people have been have gained a lot yeah yeah and also uh, the next session I guess yeah so but I just want to uh, indicate that we've got Reverend George Nguenya. He's been a great friend of mine for many years. Let him you work. He's still my pastor. <laughs> yeah, so when we, we'll talk more about that in the next session. But you can just tell him you are one. He'll be speaking next session. Amen. <laughs> and there's also Mubutin Tla, family friend, 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 and brother. <laughs> Thank you very much. Just welcome. Okay, just in that one and Can you give me a about one fell? Amen. Yeah. We'll, we'll do other introductions later on. But thank you very much. Thank you so much, Muruti. Uh, the announcements, the MSO, um, we are going for tea break. It's 30 minutes, so at one o'clock, so the other thing is we're gonna, I think we're having cookies, so can we eat uh, because we don't want to make it dirty. And our guests, Samuruti, all the pastors and all the guests, um, you'll be ushered to the room upstairs to have your tea. And yeah, like I said, it's, I think it's less than 30 minutes. Uh, 20 minutes now, yeah. So at exactly one o'clock, can we come back uh, for another session with